All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Rap Tutorials. Once again, I'm your host, Larry Charles, and this video is about flow. So I was asked by a subscriber, you know, how do you come up with a good flow? Like, how do you rap as far as, you know, riding the beat, as far as being able to have that cadence, have that pattern, have that just crazy lyrical ability to just make great rap music? So this video is gonna be dedicated 100% to finding, designing, and enhancing your flow. Before we begin, I just wanna say having your own style is most important, right? Like, you wanna have your own signature that you're developing. But until you get to that point where you're comfortable and you know enough about this, here are a couple of tips that you can use today to help increase or improve your flow. So when it comes to flow, it's not really about just how many words you can fit into a bar or how fast you can just spit a bunch of rhymes because, you know, that's not really how it's done. What you want to do when you flow is you want to worry about style, you know, charisma, technique, showmanship those are all synonyms for like flow when it comes to rap you want to represent those things in your style swag even you want to have swag so now let's talk about the beat the beat is like your assistant you know it's like your backup dancer it's your partner in crime when it comes to having a good flow you can't ignore the beats half of the work the flow your rap your lyrics that's half the beat is the other half like if you have a beat with a lot of energy with a lot of charisma with a lot of you know audio flavor you want some of that to shine through, so you don't want to just cover that up with a whole bunch of raps and a whole bunch of garbage that's just way fast that doesn't partner with the beat very well, you know what I mean? If you have a beat that's very low register, low tone, then you want to make sure that your style and your patterns and your deliveries match what the beat is doing, you know? Because you want them to sound good together. You don't want one to overpower or overshadow the other because that's not going to be a good sonic experience. I've got three tips for you today for how you can improve your flow and I'm going to follow that up with three more tips on how you can improve your rap because they both go together. Tip number one is mouthing or scatting or just mumbling. Sometimes when I put on a beat, when I don't have my lyrics designed yet, I'm just trying to entertain the idea of making a song from that beat. You know, I'll mouth out some lyrics or I'll scat out some stuff just to find, you know, vocal patterns or sounds that work with the beat. So I'll be like, in my time setting it, coming to this better. The dead on shy shredder, and you know I got that shredder. Coming through in the leather, hitting them with the cheddar. Never knowing what's better, cause people knowing the wet. Like, it doesn't even have to rhyme or make sense at this time. What you're looking for are just really cool ways to deliver words, things that sound good. And now, this is just an example I'm throwing out with no beat, but you can kind of understand where I'm going with it. You want to hear the beat and just like kind of come up with some patterns and some ideas. It doesn't matter what you're saying. What you want to do is just try to find those pleasing registers that kind of ride with the beat at the same time. Tip number two, your cadence. You want to make sure that you have a great presentation of words. And since it's not the 1980s anymore, you can't really get away with those one word rhymes like, I'm in the car, we're going far, look in the sky, I see the stars, I'm at the bar, looking for broth. Like that just doesn't work anymore, you know what I mean? So instead of just having one word rhymes in your bar, try two words. Uh, we at the showdown, it's about to go down. Look in the circle, I see the crowd, they know the hose downs, for rolls down. And I'm, I'm just making shit up, but you get what I'm doing, right? I'm using two words to create the rhymes now. Or you can use three words like, I don't want to try so low, Han so low, cause I see the bifold goes, my folks go bad when it comes cold. So like, <laughs> I'm just gibberish and still, but I'm trying to come up with these examples. That was rhyming three words or three syllables together. So my cadence has gone from one to two to three. And there are some rappers out there who are just incredibly, yeah, incredibly brilliant who can rap whole sentences. Like they will take every syllable of a whole sentence and rhyme it to every syllable of another whole sentence. One that comes to mind is like Eminem's Rap God. I'm still impressed by what he did on that song and that song is years old now, but Eminem Rap God, check that out if you wanna see an incredible example of great cadence. And something else to keep in mind is tip number three, your speed. You always wanna be in control of the speed for your song. If you have a high BPM beat, maybe you want a high BPM flow, you know what I mean? So like Twista, Bone Thugs and Harmony, like any one of them, uh, except for the fat one. Uh, they all had incredible speed, incredible dynamic range. Busta Rhymes, when he did the song with Chris Brown, Look At Me Now, that was like a landmark as far as rap speed. It kind of reintroduced super fast rap to this young generation because not a lot of people were rapping with that kind of speed for a while. It's been a while, so Bust had a landmark flow on Look At Me Now. When it comes to having a good flow, a good delivery, a good presentation of your lyricism, you want to make sure that the speed matches your style it matches the beat and it, it's fast enough so that people can hear everything. It rides the beat, it hits when it needs to hit or it extends when it needs to extend. Your speed is very important when it comes to your flow. 
Now let's talk about three tips for making better raps, as in lyrics, not necessarily the music or the delivery, but the actual content that you're rapping. Three tips. All right, I got my trusty iPad here because I wrote notes and I got to read from the notes because I don't have it like down pat because I'm going to say a lot. But number one, entendres are bomb. If you can make good entendres, you'll make great music. An entendre is when you say something and it means like if, if you have a double entendre, that's saying one thing that has two different meanings. A triple entendre, you say one thing that has three different meanings and so on and so on and so on. It's easier instead of considering it a word, consider it a phrase, like this is an entendre phrase. So for example, if I say, when it comes to rap, you gotta have your own style. I can put you on a track, but you gotta run your own miles, right? That's a double entendre because until you heard me say miles, you had no idea that I was actually talking about a racetrack. You might have thought I was talking about the instrumental or the song, and that's the key to the double entendre because that's exactly what I was talking about. I can put you on the track, that's me saying I can put you on my song, I can put you on my instrumental, but you have to run your own miles, meaning I'm co-signing to the fact that I first said in the lead in line that when it comes to rap you gotta have your own style, I can put you on the track, but you gotta run your own miles, you gotta do your own verse, you gotta write your own raps. Tip number two when writing your raps, you can exaggerate but you can't lie, and when I say exaggerate I mean the sky's the limit, like if you Let's say a lot of people in the trap like to rap about how successful they are in the trap. And I'll just use that as an example. They'll say they've sold this or they flipped that. And if they've ever done it at all, then it's okay, you know, more or less for them to talk about whatever level or whatever extent that they've done it to, right? Like there's rappers out there who have very limited knowledge of certain activities, I'll just say, but they're so incredibly verbose about this career that they've had in those activities, which is probably completely false. But as long as they have initiated some sort of association to that activity, usually it's okay. People will listen to it and they won't vouch or disrespect your credibility. But if you haven't done something at all, like let's say you live a thug lifestyle, you're a hardcore gangbanger, and you know all this and all that about the streets, and you're, and you're Clarence, and you have really nice parents, and you live out in Paris, you know what I mean? Like if you are so far from the thing that you're talking about, and it can be proven that you have no experience or no idea what you're talking about, you will create problems for yourself. Tip number three for writing raps is, when you're writing your punchlines, it's easier to write the punch part of the punchline and then go back and write the lead in. So, you know, you write the impactful part first and then you write the lead in, the, rock, the part that rhymes to it. So for example, in the intro video for this channel, if you watch, I said, I said, my name on top of dotted lines, that's dollar signs, cause I demand paper, I'm sandpaper, I gotta grind. Now if you listen to that rhyme, it, I mean, you hear me say, I demand paper, I'm sandpaper, I gotta grind. The easy part for me to come up with was the impact, like, oh, sandpaper. I wanted to say something about being on my grind. And I think the original line that I wrote was, I'm on my grind like sandpaper, or like sandpaper, I'm on my grind. You know, it was that. Like sandpaper, I'm on my grind. That's how that line started. But when I said the word sandpaper, I was like, hmm, there's an opportunity there to make this line more impactful. I said, I demand paper, I'm sandpaper. I gotta grind, because I wanted to talk about grind. So I had that part of the line done. And so I needed to come up with something that led into that. So that's when I kind of played around with the idea of, I want to be a guarantee, right? So like my name on top of dotted lines, like if I sign a contract, that's dollar signs, that means money. So I, I created those two punch lines and I led them in together. My name on top of dotted lines, that's dollar signs because I demand paper, I'm sandpaper, I gotta grind. It was much easier for me to come up with the, I'm sandpaper, I gotta grind and write the rest than to come up with a lead in and have no idea where the punch is gonna go. So that's one of my favorite techniques for writing punchlines and inch, ah, and ugh. that's one of my favorite techniques for writing punchlines and improving my rap. I write the punch first and then I write the lead in. So I write the impact and then I write the, the lead in. So anyway, hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed my video. This is Larry Charles, the creator, the host, the MC behind rap tutorials in the hot studio that's always hot because I'm in a small room with bright lights and this shit is just burning. So if you like what I'm doing, please just give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way to help us out. Uh, we appreciate your support. Come back next time for more videos. Like I said, this video came by way of a fan request. So thanks for being a fan. Spread the word. I'm going to keep teaching. I'm going to keep rapping. I'm going to keep having fun. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.